Okay, we're inside the cab now, and typically we want to look for a knockout or a grommet of some sort that we can route our wires through without having to drill a hole. Unfortunately, on this vehicle, I don't see any such knockout or grommet, so we're gonna actually gonna have to drill a half inch hole through the firewall here. I've already picked a spot out, which is kind of hard to see, but you definitely wanna make sure that you pick a spot where there's nothing on the other side that you're gonna drill through, such as wiring components, anything of that sort. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill that out, and then we'll route the wires through the firewall. Okay, I went ahead and drilled my hole for the wires that are gonna run through the firewall for the brake controller. I've got the brake controller in hand here, the Prodigy, and uh, as you can see, here's the four wires that are gonna come out of the back of it. And with any brake controller, you've got these four basic functions. The blue wire is your outgoing to the trailer plug, the white is ground, the black is your hot lead, your red is going to your brake switch, the positive side of the brake switch, I should say. We are gonna go ahead and we need to route the hot and the ground directly to the battery, and that's what's gonna go through the firewall. The double bonded wire that was provided with the ETBC7, there should be enough link there for you to route it from the plug up to under the dash um, to make your connections. And you can cut off the excess, and you can actually use it to connect it to the brake controller to route through the firewall to the battery. And that's what I've done here. I've cut off the excess wire, and I'm gonna go ahead and make the connections here to the brake controller and run it to the battery. We're back up under the hood now. I've got the wire that I had cut previously that we had ran from the plug in the rear, from the seven pole. Again, these are the two wires. Now the black is gonna be the hot lead again, and the white is the outgoing brake lead that's going directly to the brake controller. So the white wire, we need to run through the hole that we drilled in the firewall to the brake controller itself. You may need to run an extension piece to this to make sure you have enough length to get to the brake controller. The black wire is gonna to go to the auxiliary side of the circuit breaker, the 40 amp circuit breaker. And again, we're gonna use a little extra piece to mount to this side, which is gonna go directly to the battery itself. Panning over to the other breaker that we had mounted previously, the 30 amp breaker. This one is for the power lead that's going directly for the brake controller. I've got the wires here that we had routed from inside from the brake controller through the firewall. As you can see, there's the white for the ground and the black for the positive side of the battery. We need to pull enough length through to go directly to the battery. And at some point, we need to snip the black wire and mount it directly on the breaker here. And they're labeled, each side's labeled. One side is auxiliary, which is to the brake controller and then the battery side, which obviously goes to the battery. Going over here to the battery now, you can see here are the two wires coming directly from the brake controller. I went ahead and put ring terminals on them. The white is for the ground, black is for positive, and then we've got the third wire, which is the hot lead that goes directly to the plug, and again, that needs to go to the positive side as well. And we're gonna leave these disconnected for the time being until we get everything hooked up, and then we'll go ahead and reconnect these. So we're gonna go back into the cab now and mount the brake controller. We're inside the cab now, and we're gonna go ahead and mount the brake controller. The, uh, a good location for the mounting of the brake controller would be to the right of the steering wheel in this area right in here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mount the bracket just like so. You wanna make sure it's in a position where it doesn't interfere with your foot hitting the gas pedal. The first connection that we're gonna make here in the cab for the brake control is the red wire from the harness, which is gonna be connected to the brake switch. It, uh, we need to connect it to the wire that gets hot when we hit the brake pedal. Now that we've made the connection to the brake switch, uh, we're gonna go ahead and connect the other wires that we had routed through the firewall, through the hole we drilled. The black and the white, which are the hot and the ground, which go to the black and the white on the harness here. And again, the blue wire, which is going back to the plug, and that'll connect to the blue wire here on the harness. Now that we've made all the connections to the plug, we're gonna go ahead and mount the Prodigy in the place and plug the harness into the back of it here. Okay, the last thing to do, now that we've got the brake control mounted and all the wires ran, is to make the connections to the battery. Again, make sure you route the two black wires to the positive side and the white wires to the negative side. On uh, this particular type of battery that's on this Ranger, you can't fully remove the screw 
in order to put the terminal over the top of it because there is a, a little tab here that prevents it from doing so. So instead of trying to remove the whole screw, I'm just going to loosen up enough to have a space in between the two posts here. I'm actually just going to take the ring terminal and clip the middle of it off. And now it'll fit in between and around the screw itself. Let me just tighten it back up. And with these connections being made, that will finalize the installation.